Hi, it's Scott here again from Millionaire Strategy. Um, I want to talk to you today about developing the right mindset to be successful in life. Um, I also want to expand on that a little bit and say how to develop a millionaire mindset. What is it about people who are really successful uh, and what differentiates them from the 97% of us who are not extremely super rich? Okay, there's certain qualities. Um, First, this is pretty simple and, and you're probably going to go, well, I know that already, but it's applying these principles which makes the difference between those of us who are uh, rich uh, and those of us who are part of the middle class and those who uh, are still aspiring to get somewhere in life. Okay, so the first thing is the ability to set priorities and focus on goals. Many people allow themselves to be driven by the crisis of the moment. Personal discipline is the key word here. So set yourself some priorities and goals and live by them. Be able to identify important issues. Some people call this common sense, others call it street smarts. In the normal startup environment in business, there are multiple forces competing for your attention every day and you need to learn to delegate or ignore many. It relates back to experience and knowledge more than genes, background, whatever. You really have to think about very successful people that have come from, from nothing. Uh, and often they're the most successful people because they understand the meaning of not having anything. Um, conviction to be a passionate advocate. When you believe in something enough to turn your passion into action, you become an advocate. That power and voice is then used to persuade others to make the correct decision. An effective advocate requires conviction, usually during uh, relating first-hand experience or training. So for example, if I was going to say to you that 12 years ago I had two pence in my pocket, I was homeless, uh, my father died and I came out of a very difficult relationship and I now run my own business and I've got a property portfolio. I had to, I had to start somewhere, I had to begin somewhere, I had, to have, I had to have a vision to get myself out of that situation. Broad knowledge and experience. Experience allows one to tackle challenges with confidence in a given area. Broad knowledge facilitates the same success in other business areas, so you can apply the same knowledge to a different business idea. Entrepreneurs need this because their challenges are across the spectrum from technical to legal, operational, financial and organisational. Key elements, basically when, when you're running your own business, you're acting as the human resources department, the sales department, the financial department, everything. Um, Active listening skills. Above all, the, the ability to listen and understand the real meaning of what people are saying and not saying. That's absolutely paramount because the most important information never ar arrives in reports or by email. Some people pick this up from experience and others find classroom courses most helpful in setting their focus. And then sound judgment. I don't think anyone is, is born with sound judgment. Um, it has to be learned, uh, it could, but it can be started at a very early age. Every entrepreneur must have the capacity to assess situations or circumstances shrewdly and draw proper conclusions. Pleasant scepticism. Scepticism isn't doubting, but applying reason and critical thinking to determine validity. It's the process of searching for a supportable conclusion as opposed to justifying the preconceived conclusion. In other words, thinking that you know the answer already when you, you don't. Um, it's a learned skill. So yeah, just a few tips there. Uh, if you want to go back and listen to it again, it might, might help, but uh, they're my ideas on developing a winning millionaire mindset. See you next time.